there's a lot of things in in my wrestling career I'm caught between cultures. I was in an era where like the tail end of guys asking for pillows in the locker room and you're just one of the boys. I think Jimmy Jacobs said it best was like how he'd romanticize about being fucked up and wrestling drunk and and we have a show, we make our money and we go get fucked up afterwards. Just that that whole idea of that's what being a pro wrestler was where now it's much more defined now Mm -hmm. and guys are got good bodies. It's more about getting getting to bed early or playing video games afterwards. You know, having a pizza, that's like, that's like a <laughs> big, day. yeah, exactly. They're talking about cheat days and, and stuff like that. Where also too, in my pro wrestling life, you were considered a fucking pussy. If you put your hands up for a chair shot, Yeah, right, you were required right. to put your hands down and make a whole deliberate thing. Like even just kind of like flinching them up. It was almost like the flinch game, right. but with people swinging steel chairs as hard as they possibly could across people's head at the crown of their fucking head yeah. and, and no idea of protection or how to take care of guys. And that's what you were told to do. And if like, if I like kind of raise my hands up a little bit, and even though I didn't even get them up at all, Oh, you moved your fucking hands, you fucking pussy. And that's what <laughs> you were fucking told to do. And, and not only too, the people that were calling you pussies weren't just the guys in the back, but also wrestling fans. Oh yeah. Wrestling fans. Was Especially like, ECW Philly. Mm -hmm. And then there was a shift that I remember this match with Steve Carino and Kevin Steen and the boys in the back were mad that that Carino never got his hands up. And then even the fans were saying this is fucking violence at its best. It's just gross and disgusting. They didn't put their hands up. Who the fuck are they? This is this is shitbag fucking wrestling. Or wait a minute. You would have called us shitbags for putting our hands up a few years ago. It was just this weird dynamic. And Balls made a name for himself because of these fucking chair shots. And in this culture right now, someone like Balls Mahoney would be vilified. But at the same time, he'd be vilified. His gifts and his online videos would shoot up right away. And he would ha- develop a reputation that he can then make money off of in the future. So the people that and the, all this debate, like, oh, should he be swinging his chair so hard? He's protecting people. That's where this business is. Well, at this time in the business, like, that's how you got over. Do you, do you get over at somebody's expense? Or do you have the reputation that you work well with people?